Grab a heat safe bowl and you're gonna wanna pick out some butters or just one butter. It's really up to you. I'm using a combination of 120 grams of a kokum butter, which is one of the hardest butters, and then 180 grams of shea butter, which is actually one of the softest butters. And it's my favorite butter to work with. But I do recommend having a hard butter in here since shea butter does melt very easily. So a combination of like a hard butter and a softer butter is personally my favorite, but you do you. And I do notice kokum butter does seem to be really popular in body butters because body butters can melt and this butter has the highest melting point. So grab a pan, put it over your stovetop on about medium heat, fill it with a little bit of water, and then place your bowl in there, and then just let it chill until all the butters have completely melted. Now you want to remove it from heat, and while it is still hot, you can add in your oil. I'm using 198 grams of caprylic capric triglyceride, which is a really lightweight emollient ester. These are similar to like carrier oils, but much more lightweight. So using an emollient ester will really help prevent your body butter from feeling too greasy. Although of course it'll still be pretty oily since it is an anhydrous product and anhydrous means it contains only oil soluble ingredients. And adding in the oil after the butter has melted is actually a trick I learned from Yaya DIY Creations. I had to make a last minute anhydrous body butter for some B-roll in my last video. So I decided to take some inspiration from one of the whipped body butters that is like one of my favorites from Yaya since she is the queen of body butters. So go show her some love and check out her channel. But now it's time to place our bowl in the freezer. This is the method I like to use. And once it has like a little bit of like a hardened top and sides, you can start mixing it with your hand mixer. Now the sides will be a lot harder because the bowl is glass and it's like really cold from being in the freezer. So these like cold edges kind of help cool down the entire body butter as you whip it. And this really helps with whipping the body butter because it can take so long to get it to that fluffy consistency because it's got to be like hard enough to fluff up because if it's not like hard enough, it doesn't fluff. It has to be like right in between not being too hard and not being too soft. So let's go ahead and add in 60 grams of rosehip seed oil now that this has cooled down. And again, I took this method from Yaya, adding in another oil later after it solidifies. And then I'm adding in six grams of this Hello Sugar fragrance oil. Go buy it. It's from Bulk Apothecary. Smells like candy. I'm obsessed. And then I added in six grams of vitamin E, which is an antioxidant. And lastly, 30 grams of arrowroot powder. This will help get rid of like a little bit of that greasiness. And I always like to use it at around 5%. You can try different percentages to see what works for you. Mix it all together. This is around the time it will start fluffing. And this is the consistency I got. I do kind of feel like I should have like whipped it a little bit more because I do feel like it was a little bit too hard when I started piping it. So if you have a stand mixer, that is ideal. I didn't have one and my carpal tunnel was acting up. But anyways, I divided it up and made it a bunch of different colors. I did pink, I did a blue one, I did a purple one, a green and yellow. I should have done orange also. I should have done the entire rainbow, but again, I wasn't planning on like posting this. This was just like a fun little thing I did and I just recorded it just to have like extra like B-roll for my video from last week, but I'm kind of getting off topic here. Anyways, I'll have all these mica powders linked down below. They are all ethically sourced. And now let's get our piping bag ready. Stick the little piece in there. I don't know, mark where you want to cut it, cut it, put it back in there. I don't know. I'm then using this press and seal. I'm not a piping pro guys. I learned how to pipe from Angel Cosmetics. All I did was search how to pipe body butters and this video popped up on YouTube and it was so helpful. Go support her channel as well. Anyways, this is the method she told me how to do. Um, it's not exact guys, I'm probably butchering it, but I took this press and seal and then I put down all of my colors and looking back, I should have stacked the last two colors on top of the purple and the pink. I should have put the green on top of the pink and the yellow on top of the purple. And it would have made this like sandwiching probably easier. I don't know. This is the first time I've ever tried it. And then I used my sushi rolling skills to um, roll it like this. And, um, and then I made it into like a little candy by like twirling up the ends like that. You know, it looks like a little candy. I, I don't know. And then I cut off one of the ends and then stuck it in my piping bag. So it's like so much cleaner. You know, I don't have to like 
put each color individually in my piping bag. I can just do what I just did, cut off the end, and then stick it in my piping bag. And here is where I'm like, oh my gosh, Tara, you should have whipped this a lot more. Um, because it was just so hard to push through the piping bag. I don't know if maybe the hole just wasn't big enough in the press and seal. Like, not the piping bag, but the press and seal. I don't know. It was just really hard to pipe. I also had it really cold in there, in my house, because I was, like, sweating because I was so nervous about piping. Because <laughs> look at me struggling. Like, so much props to all the people who are selling body butters like this. I don't know how you guys are piping hundreds of body butters. My carpal tunnel says no. Oh, also look at that. It busted. Like, <laughs> like I'm telling you guys, I do not enjoy piping. Like, I wish I enjoyed piping, but I don't. Like, if someone got, like, the piping bag ready for me and just handed it to me and it was, like, the perfect consistency, I would love to be doing that. But, like, the process up until the piping, I just don't like. But, I mean, look at these results. So freaking cute. This turned out so good. And it's making me want to make more anhydrous body butters because just the color combination like look at that swirl so freaking cute love it thank you yeah yeah for always inspiring me to make body butters you're amazing and thank you to everybody else who are always making really cute colorful body butters just giving me inspiration you guys are awesome and i hope you guys enjoyed this formula and one more thing i want to mention is if you aren't a fan of anhydrous body butters and you're so confused why our homemade body butters are like always greasier and they melt compared to store-bought body butters, then go watch my last video. I explained to you why store-bought body butters are so different from homemade body butters. See you there. Actually, just a few more things I wanna add at the end. Body butters, since they're anhydrous, depending on where you live, this formula might be too hard, it might be too soft. Just depends on how hot or how cold it is where you are. 